Este es el derecho que tiene el hombre. Gracias. Good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I am fine now. Okay, very good. Excellent. Always on time. Carmen, how are you tonight, Carmen? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you for asking me. Okay, very good. How are you, Saul? Hello, guys. How are you, Saul? Hello, I am fine. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. Let's wait for another minute. Let me see. One more minute. Okay, and we will start the class. All right? All right. So let me go All right here. Okay, I wonder where where is everybody else? Okay, it's eight o'clock. Okay, so tonight we're gonna work a little bit on listening. Okay, so we have listening, really, never. Okay, let's see. Paul and Megan are talking about food. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Mega eat these foods? Listen and check. Are you ready? Let me okay. see. Newcomers, no newcomers. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let me share with you. Okay, guys, so let's listen. Okay, here we go. Page 62, exercise Okay, so please turn, turn up. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check. Paul and Megan are Sometimes. talking about. Okay, please turn up your microphones, please. So what the I don't know yet. So, do you like pasta? Oh yeah, I also eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? 
No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay, very good. So, for the ones that just came in, for Lorena and Estela, good evening. We are working on the listening. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? So pasta, she said that very often. What about hamburgers? Sometimes or never? Fish, never. fish how often? Eggs, how often? Broccoli, often. how often? Often. Okay, listen, listen. Often. Page 62, exercise eight, listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. Okay, it says, I often eat pasta for dinner. Can you see? I often eat pasta for dinner. For dinner. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. Okay, please turn up your microphones. Turn on your microphone so we can hear better. Okay, very good. Thank you. Turn up, turn up your microphone. <laughs> Mario, turn up your microphone, Mario. Okay, very good. Here we go. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. Hamburgers? How often does she eat hamburgers? Never. Never. Ah, uh -huh. she never eats hamburgers. Okay, very good. The next one. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, how often does she eat fish? She sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, uh -huh. she? Sometimes. She sometimes, sometimes eats fish. fish. Sometimes. How often does she eat eggs? Sometimes. Ah, uh, she sometimes eats eggs. She sometimes okay. eats eggs. Exactly. Listen. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay, and broccoli, how often does she eat broccoli? She often, she often eats broccoli. Okay, broccoli. remember pronunciation, don't pronounce the T. Often. She often, often. She often eats broccoli. Okay, very good. Now, listen to the script, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the script so you can see it, okay? Right here, I'm going to place it right here. Here we go again. Page 62, exercise 8. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Maggie are talking about food. How often is Maggie going to Listen and check often. Sometimes. Or never. Please turn up. I, okay, very good. So, what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, 
but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay, very good. So, she often eats pasta. She never eats hamburgers. She sometimes eats fish. She sometimes eats eggs. And she often eats broccoli. Okay, now, now I want you to take a picture. Take a picture of this, please, and send it to the group. Send it to the group, okay? Okay, very good. Send it to the group. Now, I'm going, I'm going to go to the, okay, I'm going to come here and I want you, okay. No, but I don't want this. I want, let me see. I can find the, well, okay. Now, I want you to ask this question. How often do you eat pasta? So you are going to say, how often you eat pasta? So I sometimes eat pasta. How often do you eat hamburgers? How often do you eat fish? How often do you eat eggs? And how often do you eat broccoli? When you finish, you're gonna ask, okay, now when you finish, you are going to ask your partner, how often do you eat pasta? Is that clear? Okay, I'm gonna break you into groups. Okay, let me see if it is understood. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you understand what to do, Andrea? You're gonna ask the question, how often do you eat pasta? How often do you eat hamburgers? Yes. Okay, huh? You are going to ask, you are going to ask your partner these questions. How often do you eat pasta? How often do you eat hamburgers? How often do you eat fish? How often do you eat, do you eat eggs? And how often do you eat broccoli? And you are going to answer, I often eat pasta, I sometimes eat hamburgers, I always eat fish, etc. And when you finish answering the question, you ask the question. Cuando usted termine de preguntar, va a dejar que su compañero ahora le pregunte a usted. ¿Ok? ¿Está bien? ¿Está claro? Yes. Ok, and remember. The question is, how often, okay? Uh -huh. How often, how often do, you do you eat? And eat then do pasta. you eat? Pasta. How often do you eat? Okay. And then you are going to answer the question depending how often you eat. Uh, that food, okay? So I'm going to break you into groups, okay? Very good. Now let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so four groups. Let me see, four pairs. Okay, Carmen, go with Pedro in room number one. Andrea, go with Mario in room number two. Lorena, go with Arnulfo in room number three. Estela, go with Fernando in room number four, please. Okay, ask and answer the questions, please. Thank you, Estela, Fernando, 
room number four, Carmen, room number one. Lorena, room number three, please. Carmen, room number one with Pedro, please. Hello, Carmen. Okay, very good. How often do you eat pasta? I sometimes eat pasta. How often do you eat uh, fish? I hardly ever eat fish. Um. Andrea, how often do you eat pasta? I never eat pasta. Mm -hmm. How often do you eat hamburgers? I And do you eat pasta? Mm, I usually eat How pasta. How often do you eat pasta? Okay, okay. Uh, How often do you eat hamburgers? Hamburgers. I eat hamburgers. No, come here. I'm sometimes eat hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Hello, Anna. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Anna. Good evening. How are you? Una pregunta, teacher. Diga. La respuesta eh, iba a ir, digamos, un, un ejemplo. Me preguntaban a Ofen. Do you eat pasta? Entonces, ten, la respuesta iba a ser I, I, I am something or I like something. No, es I usually, I never, I sometimes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, look, uh, let me bring you that page right here. No, oh, too much. Okay, can you see right here? I yes. always, I usually, I often eat pasta. Okay, I hardly ever, I never eat breakfast. The only one that I can use at the beginning is sometimes. Sometimes I eat breakfast, the only one. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, let me see. Everybody is back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now, uh, let me keep sharing, okay? Now, I two questions about mealtime habits to the chart. Then ask two people the question. Write their names and complete the chart. For example, do you always eat breakfast? What time do you usually eat lunch? Do you ever eat cereal for dinner? Do you ever go to a restaurant for breakfast? What's something you never eat for lunch? What do you usually drink with dinner? Okay, ask me this question, please. But, uh, Pedro, ask me question number one. Uh, do you always eat breakfast? Yes, I always eat breakfast. Do you always eat breakfast? Pedro, do you always eat breakfast? 
Galing. <laughs> Pedro, do you always eat breakfast? Yes. Yes, I Yes? Oh. I always eat breakfast, okay? Mario Nolasco, ask me number two, question number two. What time do you usually eat lunch? I usually eat lunch at 12 o'clock. What time do you usually eat lunch, Mario? I always, I always eat lunch at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, okay, very good. Carmen, ask me question number three, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, do you ever eat cereal for a dinner? No, I never eat cereal for dinner. Now, Carmen, do you eat, do you ever eat cereal for dinner? I sometimes eat cereal for dinner. Really? Okay. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is uh, strange. Lorena, ask me. Now, Lorena, ask me. Do you ever go to a restaurant for breakfast? Ask me, Lorena, but turn, turn on your microphone. Encienda el micrófono, Lorena. Yeah. Okay, ask me, number four. Do you ever go to a restaurant for breakfast? I often go to a restaurant for breakfast. Okay, do you ever go to a restaurant for breakfast, Lorena? I, como dijeran, como se dice de vez en cuando? Ah, uh, sometimes, so, remember, sometimes. I sometimes go, go to a restaurant. For breakfast. Excellent. Andrea, ask me question number five, Andrea. What sometime, no, what no, something. something you never eat for lunch? Uh, I never eat cereal for lunch. <laughs> now, what is something you never eat for lunch? I never eat uh, pupusas for lunch. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Estela, ask me question number six. Uh, what do you usually drink with dinner? I usually drink a, a, a soda with dinner. What do you usually drink with dinner? I usually juice, creo que, ¿verdad? I usually juice. I usually drink juice with dinner. Okay, I very usually, good. I usually. Ah, uh -huh, I usually. I usually drink juice with dinner. Okay, very good, very good. Now, excellent. Let's go to the next page. Now, eating for good luck. Look at the pictures. On a special occasions, do you ever eat any of this food? So, listen carefully. Page 63, exercise 11. Reading. Eating for good luck. On New Year's Day, Many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines and oranges. Tangerine sounds like luck, and orange sounds like wealth in the Mandarin language. Okay, questions. Some Chinese people eat tangerines and oranges. Tangerine sounds like luck. An orange sounds like wealth in the Mandarin language. Questions, please. What is the meaning of wealth? Wealth, riqueza. Wealth. And wealthy, 
Very rich, muy rico. Sounds like look. Sounds like. Sounds like suena como suerte. Tangerine sounds like luck. Tangerine suena como suerte. And orange sounds like wealth. So orange sounds like money, money. Okay? No more questions? Okay, very good. Let's go to the second one. In Greece and some other Mediterranean countries, people eat pomegranates. Pomegranates bring wealth in the new year. Questions? Pomegranate. Pom pomegranates. Pomegranates is what we call granadillas. Granadillas. Pomegranates. Okay. Take a look. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to go here. So these are palm grenades. Is that clear? So can you see the picture? Yes. Yes. Okay, so those are palm grenades. Palm grenades. Okay, very good. Now, questions? In Greece, Grecia. So in Greece and some other Mediterranean countries, people eat pomegranates. Pomegranates bring wealth in the new year. Pomegranates bring, trying, riqueza in the new year. Okay, very good. Now the next one, let's go with the next one. Okay. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. At what? the end of the year in Sweden. Each month of the new year. Okay, questions. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the year. Questions? Where is the, where is the meaning of Eve? Eve, okay. Eve means evening. So when I say New Year's Eve is the December 24th. Okay, December 24th. And when we say, and when we say the uh, New Year's Day, New Day, New Year's Day refers to uh, December 25th. El 24 is New Year's Eve and okay let me put it this way here we go okay December 24th is new no it's Christmas sorry this is Christmas day Christmas Eve Okay, now December 25th is a Christmas day. The same happens with December 31st is new 
years Eve is New Year's Eve in January first is New Year's New Year's Day. Okay? Can you see it? December 24th is Christmas Eve. And December 25th is Christmas Day. December 31st is New Year's Eve. And January... January 1st is New Year's Day. Is that clear? So in, in, in Spanish, Eve is like... Uh, evening, Vispera. evening. En la noche de Navidad. Ah, okay. Okay, la noche. And the 25th is the day, el día de Navidad. And December 31st is la noche... El, bueno, es previo al año nuevo. Y January 1st is New Year's Day. ¿Ok? Hola, yes. No more questions? Yes. Ok, very good. Let's go back then. So here, on... Uh, People eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. A la medianoche, en la noche del año nuevo, o sea, en diciembre 31 a las 12, people eat one grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. Okay? Now, the next one, right here. Teacher, no sé si solo yo, pero veo blanco. No sé si ah, ok, blanco. hold on. Es que no he dejado de compartir la pantalla. Ok, now. Can you see? Yes. Hello. Yes. 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 Ah, ok, let's yeah, go yeah. with the next one. At the end of the year in Sweden, people eat rice pudding with an almond inside. Everyone tries to find the almond for good luck in the new year. Questions. At the end of the year in Sweden, Sweden, Suecia. So at the end of the year in Sweden, people eat rice pudding with an almond inside. La gente come un pudding de arroz con una almendra adentro. Everyone tries to find the album for good luck in the new year. Cada uno trata de encontrar la almendra para buena suerte en el nuevo año. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? No. Okay, let's go with the next one. On New Year's Day in South Korea, people eat duck gook, soup with rice cakes, for strength and health in the new year. Okay, on New Year's Day in South Korea, people eat duck gook, soup with rice cakes, for a strength in health in the new year. Questions? What's the meaning do good? Uh, do good is eso, eh? Este plato. Así se llama el plato en coreano. <laughs> do good. Uh, okay. What is strength? The strength is fortaleza. So they eat do good soup with rice cakes. For strength, rice cakes. Uh, rice cakes. Ah, rice cakes. Rice cakes son eh, cakeitos de arroz. Mm -hmm. With rice cakes, con cakes con de arroz. Mm -hmm. Para fortaleza y salud 
en el nuevo año. ¿Ok? The next one. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with collard greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollar bills. Okay, questions. Black. What is black eyed peas? Black eyed peas in a moment. Okay, black eyed peas. So you can see better. Black eyed peas. Okay. Oh. These are black eyed peas. Can you see right here? That's what they call it, black eye. Porque parece un ojo negro. So these are black eyed peas. Can you see black eyed peas? Son como los beans. Son como unos frijoles blancos, ¿verdad? Black eyed peas. Black eyed peas. And rice with color greens. And color greens. So you can see color greens. Okay, so that is color green. Okay. Okay, and the black eyed peas, the black eyed peas are like coins. Los frijoles eh, blancos con el ojo negro son como monedas. And the greens, y lo verde, and the greens are like dollar bills. Okay, ese color beans es como... No sé si como mora o espinaca. Something like that. Okay? Something like that. Sure. Bills son billetes, ¿verdad? Bills son billetes. Y coins son monedas. So the black eyed peas are like coins, monedas, and the greens are like dollar bills. Y los lo verde son como billetes de adola. ¿Ok? Now, okay. let's answer these questions. ¿Ok? I'm going to make it smaller so we can see it better. ¿Ok? In Mandarin. Okay, in Mandarin, the word tangerine sounds like wealth. Is that correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 What is correct? Tangerine sounds, tangerine like, sounds like luck. luck. Okay, very good. Luck. Now, number two. Greeks, people from Greece, Greeks, Griegos, eat Prom grenades, prom grenades bring health? No. No. Prom grenades bring wealth. Uh huh. Prom grenades bring wealth. Ooh, where is the mouse? Prom grenades bring wealth. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, the next one. Uh, people in Spain eat 12 grapes. One grape for good luck in each hour of the day. Is that correct? No. No? no. Each month. Oh, each month. The year. Uh -huh. One grape for good luck in each 
month of month the new year. Of the new, of the new year. For each month of the new year. Very good. Now, Swedish are the people from Sweden. Los suecos es la nacionalidad de los que viven en Suecia. Los suecos, Swedish people, need rice pudding with money inside. No. Almond. No. It's almond. Ah, Swedish people eat rice pudding with almond. Almond inside. With an almond. With an almond inside. Okay. Now, Koreans, people from South Korea, Koreans eat soup with chocolate cake for strength and health. Rice cake. No. Ah, no chocolate cake. Rice cake. Rice cake. Rice cake. Rice cake. Rice cake. It up with rice cake. Rice cake. Okay, very good. Rice cake. Rice cake for strength and health. Now, some Americans eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like dollar bills. No, black eyed peas no. are no. like. I like coins. Uh -huh. Black coins. eyed peas are like, like uh, coins. coins. Okay, very good. Now we're going to switch coins. to the word book, okay? We're going to switch to the word book. Okay, so this is the next page. Okay, complete the conversations, use the questions in the box. Who do you practice with? Do you like sport? Ah, oh, let me see. Uh oh. Six. Okay, sorry. Okay, so here, do you often have these things for dinner? Write sentences with the adverbs in the box. Okay, so, okay, turn up your microphones, please. Turn up your microphones. Thank you. Okay, so, turn up your microphones, please. Okay, so here. How often do you eat this for dinner? For dinner. I hardly ever have cheese for dinner. Now, Estela, number two. Yeah. Estela, you can use either one of these for milk. How often do you drink milk for dinner? Um, I never, um, I never have, have meal for dinner. I never have meal for dinner. Very good. Dinner. Okay, very good. Andrea, how often do you have coffee for dinner? I never have coffee for dinner. Okay, very good. Pedro, how often do you have eggs for dinner? I hardly, I hardly ever have egg for dinner. Excellent, very good. Mario Nolasco, how often do you have beef for dinner? Mario, turn on your microphone, please. I never oh. have beef for dinner. I okay. never eat beef. Very good. Now, uh, let me see. And Lorena, how often do you have rice for dinner? Turn on your microphone, Lorena. I sometimes have rice for dinner. Okay, very good. Saul, Arnulfo, how often do you have beans for dinner? <laughs> Why is beans? Beans. beans. 
Sí. Yes. Frijoles. How often do you have beans for dinner? Often. Uh -huh. How often do you have beans for dinner? Turn on your microphone, Saul. How often do you have beans for dinner? I'm sorry. Okay, um, I I hardly ever eat beans for dinner. Really, Saul? You hardly ever eat beans for dinner. I usually eat big beans for dinner. <laughs> okay, but that is okay. Carmen, how, how often do you eat cereal for dinner? I sometimes <laughs> have uh, cereal for dinner. Cereal for dinner. Okay, now, yeah. what's your favorite kind of food? Ask me this question. Ask me. Okay, let's see. Uh, Pedro. No, Lorena, ask me question number one. What's your favorite thing of kind, food? Kind, kind, kind. 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 Uh, kind. Again, kind. what's 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 your favorite kind of food? Oh, my favorite kind of food is seafood. Seafood. What's the meaning of seafood? Seafood in a minute. You're gonna see right here, seafood. Yeah. Seafood. Mariscos. Mariscos. Mariscos, seafood. Comida del mar, ¿verdad? Seafood. Okay? Seafood. Okay, okay. very good. The next one. Eh, so ask me the next question, eh, Fernando. What's your favorite restaurant? Ooh, my favorite restaurant is La Pampa Argentina. Okay, Saul, ask me the next question, please. Do you ever cook? No, number three. Ah, yeah, do you ever cook? Yes, I sometimes cook. Next question. Uh, Saul? Uh, me? Or Carmen, what is the next question? Yeah. Number five. Number four. Number five. Five. What's, what's your favorite snack? Oh, my favorite snack is nachos. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, my favorite snack is nachos. What about you? What is your favorite yeah. snack? <laughs> my, the almond. Yeah. My favorite so look, snack is the almond. Is? Okay. Now look, I need you to take a take a picture, please. Take a picture. Thanks. Okay, take a picture. Hold on, hold on. Here, let me. Okay, now take a picture, please. Send it to the group. Got it? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna break yeah. you into pairs and you tell your classmate, how often do you have these for dinner? When you finish, let your classmate tell you how often they have these for dinner. And then you're gonna ask your classmate these four questions. And then your classmate is going to ask you these four questions. Is that clear? Está claro? Ya tomaron la foto? Yeah. ¿Está claro qué es lo que van a hacer? ¿Sí? 
eh, four times, dijo, cuatro veces. No, ¿Cuántas preguntas? no, las cuatro preguntas. You see, one, two, three, four questions. You ask your classmate the four questions and then your classmate ask you the four questions. Y así ah. ustedes van a decir okay. a, qué tan a menudo has, este, comen estos alimentos. Cuando haya terminado el último, entonces su compañero le va a decir qué tan a menudo come él esos alimentos. Y luego se hacen las preguntas. Primero uno hace todas las preguntas y después el otro hace todas las preguntas. Es que las preguntas ¿Sí? no las alcancé a tener. Bro. Solo dos alcancé a agarrar. ¿Solo dos? Sí. No sé si la puedo poner otra vez. Vaya, ¿la hacemos más pequeña? No, es que sí se veían, pero yo no, no le tomé foto bien a las preguntas. Porque no Vaya, ahí sabe. Que... Ok, no tome la foto otra vez, pues. Ahora son cinco. <risa> <risa> ¿Ya? Pero no está compartiendo, Tito. No, no estoy compartiendo. Wait a minute. Eh... ¿Y ahora? Yeah, hoy sí. Thank you. Ok, five. Ok, eight minutes. Le voy a dar ocho minutos. Ok. Let me recreate the groups. Four. Go ahead. Carmen and Lorena, room number one. Estela and Fernando, room number two. Mario and Andrea, room number three. And Pedro and Saul in room number four. Okay, join the room, please. Very good, very good. Carmen, go to room number one with Lorena. Room number one, Lorena. Carmen. Very good, Mario, room number four. Very good. I sometimes have cheese for dinner. I never have milk for dinner. I never coffee have for no I never have coffee for dinner. I never <laughs> have eggs for dinner. I sometimes have beef for dinner. Mm, I hardly ever um, beef for dinner. No, I hardly I, ever have beef. I, uh -huh. Ah, sí, perdón. Okay. I hardly ever have beef for dinner. Okay. I usually have beans for dinner. I never have cereal for dinner. Okay, very good. And Fernando, okay, when, do you often you... have these things for dinner? Mm, okay. I usually have cheese for dinner. I often have milk for dinner. I never have coffee for dinner. I usually have eggs for dinner. I hardly ever beef huh? have beef for dinner. Have beef for dinner, yeah. Uh, I hardly ever have rice for dinner. I always always have uh, beans 
for dinner. Um, I sometimes have a cereal for dinner. Okay, now ask the questions, please. Ask the questions. Okay. Uh, Stella, what's your favorite kind of food? And my favorite, uh, my favorite kind of food is. And my favorite kind of food is. Is Mexican food. Mexican food, very good. Question number two, uh, Fernando. What, what's your favorite restaurant? And my favorite restaurant is mm, Pinche, the Pinche, the Pinche, the Okay, <laughs> nice. The, ne the next question, uh, Fernando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? Um, I I usually I sometimes have and ¿Qué es lo que le ¿Qué es lo que usted le siempre come en su restaurante favorito? Ah I eat I usually eat tacos Tacos, okay. Do you ever cook? Um, sometimes. I sometimes. I sometimes cook. 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 What's your favorite snack? Um, my favorite snack is um, potato chips. Pero que eso cuenta o no? <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Okay, now. Uh, very good, excellent. So let's let's come back, okay? Okay, guys, very good, very good. Okay, now I want you to share with you this, okay? Eh, para que ya estemos tranquilos, okay, tenemos que hacer la... Tenemos que irnos al 4.11... Y tenemos que hacer la lectura. Luego nos vamos al 4.12. No sé si estoy compartiendo la pantalla. No, teacher. Vaya. Y ahora. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sí, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ok, entonces, yeah. eh, yo no sé si ya hicieron el, uh, el uh, Knowledge Check, el 4.4 y el 4.9. El 4.4 era acerca de some and any, ¿se acuerda? Y el 4.12 era de los adverbios de frecuencia. Usually, sometimes, never. Vaya. No sé si usted tiene alguna pregunta en cuanto a esas a esos, eh, tareas. Yo, dije. No hay, no hay preguntas. Bueno, la siguiente es hacer la tarea del 4.12, Knowledge Check. ¿verdad? Usted lee y luego, Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, sweet, or acid. Entonces usted va a poner aquí, ¿verdad? Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods and, and begin again like years. So some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines round. are? Round. Round. ¿Está claro? Vale, yes. entonces. Oh, perfecto. Yes. Me gustaría de que yes. si no lo han hecho, que hagamos los knowledge check. El 4.4, el 4.9 y este 4.12. Así, mañana, si tiene preguntas, evacuamos esas preguntas. Y continuamos con la unidad 5. Para que el día lunes, el día martes, terminemos la unidad 5 y usted pueda el día miércoles hacer el final test. Y el día jueves, revisamos el final test y nos quedamos haciendo algunos ejercicios de lo que usted prefiera. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Ok. Ok. okay. ¿Hay okay. alguna pregunta? Yes. Yes. What is your question? Okay. ¿Cuál es su pregunta? It's ok. <risa> ah, it's ok. Vale. Entonces, nos vamos no a quedar question, aquí. No ¿De acuerdo? Así que durante el día traten de hacer lo que todavía no han hecho para terminar la unidad 4. ¿Ok? Yes, ahí estamos. Ok, very good. Then, very good. Yes, Let me wish you a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. ¿Ok? Thank you. Thank you. Ok, you're Thank welcome. You, ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good okay, very good. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night, everyone. Chris, please. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night.